Massive shout out to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. Blazing Boost are a website that pretty much help you get the weapons, raids and flawlesses you guys need. So if you're struggling to do anything Destiny 2 content wise, this is a place to come. It has the best prices around. Not only that, it does have over 6,500 reviews and 97% of them are 5 stars. Now I wouldn't recommend a service I don't believe in. And trust me, this service is the best and definitely one you should try out. Even if you just don't have time to complete it yourself, then Blazing Boost is a perfect place to just get that extra help that you may need. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a farm that you guys need to do straight away. So after you've watched this video, make sure you watch it to the end because I'm going to show you some tips on how to farm this the most efficient way and everything about it. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to keep up with all the Destiny 2 content. And not only that, remember to leave a like on today's video because it does really help out the channel. And we are getting close to that 30k mark, so the continued support really does help. But with that said, let's jump straight into this week's farm. Now this week's farm's really good because it actually is dropping double loot. So if you go over to the Nightfall, the ordeal... Pretty much every ordeal is dropping double loot due to a modifier sort of thing. So pretty much your grandmasters are going to be dropping exotic gear pretty much all the time. Your masters will even drop them quite often. And even your legends are really good. So for this farm, what you're going to want to do is sort of put yourself into a category. Now if you're casually farming, not looking to get the most out of it, but sort of do it normally i'd recommend either doing legend or hero you're still going to get a lot of gear by doing it this way but obviously if you are after a lot of gear enhancement prisons shards and you need it then you are going to want to do these higher difficulties like master and grandmaster if possible obviously work your way up throughout the week because as you're getting them exotics you will be leveling up so hopefully you can get into that next tier bracket so hopefully once you've decided sort of what tier bracket you want to do what you're farming now you need to take into consideration how hard this is going to be so you are going to need a fire team for this now luckily if you are watching and you don't have a fire team what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be clearing out the inactives of my clan so as you can see we've got level six but the clan has started to like fade away so we're after new members pretty much i'll be accepting everyone that requests if you go onto the bungee app or anything like that and type in unstoppable space yt send a request through and we'll definitely be accepting you now if you are in the clan make sure you are active because like i said i'm gonna have to start and get rid of a few people from it just so that we can fill it with actives for the new season and hopefully we can get max level really quickly again not only that in the description is going to be a link to our discord now we do have over like 200 members i do believe over on the discord so if you're looking for any grandmaster help people are going to be farming this like mad this week because it is obviously lake of shadows which is what i'll show you and i'll show you how to farm this the most efficient way so all you're going to want to do is load it up now for the purpose of the video i'm just going to show you on the 1020 how to do this super quickly so what you're going to want to do is have something like the divinity now one of your fire team needs this weapon it's so good stain damage from this weapon envelopes target in a field that weakens disrupts them strong against overload this thing melts any sort of champion so definitely have one of these on your fire team if you don't have that you can run obviously again that is an argus uh, with the catalyst if you guys do have that also now this is where it gets a little difficult what should you be running for your primary and obviously your heavy now your heavy weapon i like to use a grenade launcher just because you don't have to get that close but a lot of people do like to obviously use like lmgs anything like that now if you are on a hunter what i'd recommend using bottom tree tether with orpheus rigs just to generate them extra orbs for your teammates it is going to help out a lot and like i said i'll show you what i use for my primary you're going to want a decent sort of build for pve so you're going to want your special ammo scavengers all that on now if you're on a warlock make sure you're using well i would say i think well works really well and not only that if you're on a titan use bubble 
just because it's going to help out with the team more than anything. Because like I said, this can be really difficult and it will take you a lot of tries, especially on Grandmaster and Master if you guys are underleveled. But it's definitely doable. And like I said, from this week, the Nightfalls and everything are dropping double loot. So pretty much if you get one exotic from the end of this, you're pretty much going to be getting two. Same with materials, you're going to be getting double the materials and everything like that. And as you can see, this unstoppable here, all we're going to do is put him in a bubble and then our teammates can obviously kill him really quickly. So this is why this is effective. So there we go. Now let me just transfer over a pulse rifle and I'll show you why I use this more than anything. But you guys have been smashing it on the channel recently and I know recently we did get sponsored by obviously Blazing Boost and you guys said that they do really help out. So I appreciate obviously people coming over and uh, trying them out. But if you do want obviously a discount code, make sure to click the link in the description. And then let me transfer this over here. So we're going to put on the cold denial now the reason why i go for a pulse rifle more than anything is because you can get unstoppable burst so not only have you got that extra sort of damage on them champions what we can then do is also sit back now i see a lot of people on these high nightfalls sort of using different things where they have to get up close made like a sidearm something like that but for me Playing it safe for these Grandmasters is definitely the way forward. You don't really want to go fast. Now, this is only a 1020, guys. Take that in mind. So, it is going to be really hard. But it is one of the easier and easiest ones to sort of farm as a Grandmaster. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally leave this running. And I'll show you how much rewards we get in the end of this, hopefully. Once we do complete it. But, try this out. Let me know if this method works for you. Form them materials while you can, guys, for Beyond the Light. Hopefully, you guys are excited. And like they said, it's going to be like Forsaken. So, I can expect a lot of good things when that does actually come out. But that's it from me. I'll leave you with the gameplay and some backing sounds. And then, obviously, you can see what we do get in the end. But as always, guys, remember to subscribe. Drop a like down below. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.